The moment I see her, there's a rumbling in my chest and my mouth is as dry as desert. Yesterday I passed by the 100% perfect girl. Yeah? Good looking? Not really. Tell you the truth, she's not that good looking. She doesn't stand out in any way. Her clothes are nothing special. The back of her hair is still bent out of shape from sleep. But still, I know from 50 yards away, she's the 100% perfect girl for me. Your favorite type then? I don't know. I can't seem to remember the shape of her eyes or the, the size of her breasts. That's strange. Yeah, strange. Maybe you have your own particular favorite type of girl. One with slim ankles, say, or big eyes or graceful fingers. I have my own preference, of course. Sometimes in a restaurant, I'll catch myself staring at the girl at the table next to mine because I like the shape of her nose. But no one can insist that his 100% perfect girl correspond to some preconceived type. It's weird. So anyhow, what would you do? Did you talk to her? Follow her? No, just pass her on the street. She's walking east to west, and I west to east. It's a really nice April morning. I wish I could talk to her. Half an hour would be plenty. Just ask her about herself. Tell her about myself. And what I really like to do. Explain to her the complexities of fate that have led to our passing each other on a side street in the village district on a beautiful April morning. After talking, we had lunch somewhere. Maybe see a Woody Allen movie, stop by a hotel bar for cocktails. With any kind of luck, we might end up in bed. Potentiality knocks on the door of my heart. Now the distance between us has narrowed to 15 yards. How can I approach her? What would I say? Good morning. Would you happen to have half an hour to spare for a conversation? Ridiculous. I sound like an insurance salesman. Pardon me. Would you happen to know an all-night cleaner is in the neighborhood? No, that's just ridiculous. I'm not carrying laundry for one and who's gonna buy a line like that? Maybe the simple truth will do. Good morning. You are the 100% perfect girl for me. Sorry, I might be the 100% girl for you, but you are not a 100% perfect boy for me. And if I found myself in that situation, I'd probably go into pieces. Now, of course, I know exactly what I should have said to her. It would have been a very long speech, though. Far too long for me to have delivered it properly. Once upon a time, there lived a boy and a girl. The boy was 22 and the girl 20. They were just an ordinary lonely boy and an ordinary lonely girl, like all the others. But they believed with their whole hearts that somewhere in the world there lived the 100% perfect boy and the 100% perfect girl for them. Yes, they believed in a miracle. And that miracle actually happened. This is amazing. I've been looking for you all my life. You might not believe this, but... You are the 100% perfect girl. They were not lonely anymore. However, a tiny, tiny silver of doubt 
took root in their hearts. Was it really alright for one's dreams to come true so easily? And so, the boy said to the girl, We should test ourselves, just once, to see if we are really each other's 100% perfect lovers. And if we are, sometime, somewhere, we'll meet again. And when that happens, we'll know for sure we are 100% perfect ones. And we'll marry then and there. And so they parted. Time passed with shocking swiftness. And soon the boy was 32, the girl 30. One beautiful April morning, in search of a cup of coffee to start the day, the boy was walking from west to east, while the girl was walking from east to west. They passed each other in the very center of the street. The faintest gleam of their lost memories glimmered for the briefest moment in their hearts. Each felt a rumbling in the chest, and they knew. Without a word, they passed each other, disappearing into the crowd, forever. Sad story. Don't you think? Yes, that's it. That's what I should have said to him. Asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere